Mike Stewart here with Test Products International. This is a demonstration of the TPI View app. It's a free download for iOS or Android devices, and it allows you to communicate with our smart devices, which would include combustion analyzers, manometers, airflow meters. So we're using a, uh, an iPad here, and we've just gone to the App Store, downloaded the TPI View app. We're gonna open it up. And it asks you to choose uh, where you're from. So I'm gonna pick Canada. Now the reason it has a choosing your country or area is that so it defaults to certain settings like uh, Fahrenheit, Celsius, so metric or imperial, uh, um, inches of water column versus millibar in the UK, inches of water column in the US. Anyways, this is the first screen you're gonna come across. And this has a, uh, one of the most, most important parts on here is the job management. And what this does is it allows you to uh, put multiple reports into one job and email them all together. So if you want to do, uh, you know, gas pressure, combustion analysis, temperature, indoor air quality, that type of thing, put it all in one email instead of having all these separate emails. So there's a bunch of other things on here. Of course, we got direct links to our website, uh, customer portal. So, uh, um, you know, you want to send your info, your unit in for calibration next year. You can put all your information and uh, uh, tr uh, follow that. Uh, user guides, uh, gas rates. So you can just click on that, and you, you'd be able to clock your meter with it. Uh, energy converters. So, for example, let's hit that, and it allows you to, you know, make a, uh, a conversion. So I'm just going to take, uh, you know, seventy thousand. BTU and it converts it down to kilowatt hours and you can change all these scales Now these ones that aren't lit up these are still in development So uh, make sure you update your app when required and it'll have uh, more functions on it So we're just gonna get you started here and number one here is settings Okay, and here it gets into um, Units of measure, most of them are already uh, set up for you, but you could change them. So if you want to go from, it's set up on inches, you want to go to millibars or KPA, you could do that. Um, but job management. So this is uh, where you put your company details and the engineer details. So we're going to start off with company details. And you want to fill this out so when you do do your emails, it actually shows which company it's coming from. So I'm just going to create a fictitious company here, and I'm just going to add it on to... Uh, uh, let's call it Acme Heating. And of course you have to fill out the address. Uh, most important is this email address. Fill in that email address because then it's going to default to when you send out your emails, you want to copy yourself all the time. It'll automatically come out there. And there it is. I can also take a uh, logo. Um, so I can save my logo for my company or a picture that I want to use say, in my photo album and I can set my logo and it will take it right off of my pictures. So there's off my pictures. So I'm just going to pick uh, a TPI view. There, TPI view. Uh, okay. And save. Now it goes to my uh, engineering details. This myself, I'm going to be the engineer today. I'm just going to put Mike in here. And of course, my signature. Save. Now, once you've done that, when you do email your reports, uh, your reports will have all this information on it, so you don't have to keep adding it to it. And most importantly, having the engineer details on, if, uh, say, I have two guys working for the company, or 200. I got all these reports there. I want to know who actually did these. So their name will be on there. And back up. Now I'm going to go to my uh, main screen here. Scanning for devices. So down at the bottom here, it gives you a list of devices that's uh, that are compatible with this app. Okay, flue gas analysis, manometers, that type of thing. So the first one I'm going to grab is the SP620. This is a dual input manometer. So we're gonna turn that on. And as soon as you turn it on, it pops up, it's visible. Tap on it. So again, it's communicating with it. If I wanna change my uh, units of measure, so right now I have it in inches, just tap on it, it goes to millimeters, KPA and so forth. 
So I'm just going to go back to uh, inches of water column and I can zero my reading. So there it is. So now if I'm, you know, right now I'm in front of a uh, two stage furnace. So if I want to set my low fire and high fire, hook up my manometer, get the right reading I'm looking for, then I can create a report. So I'm just going to create the report. Um, it wants to access to my location. Um, I can say always allow. Uh, it says live pressure. So what I'm going to call this one is, uh, say, low fire. Say I'm doing a low fire and a high fire setup. I just want to label these so I know what they are. Set. And there it is. Save to job. Oh, Got to create a job now. So I'm going to add a job. So um, it gives me a, a place to put an ID number, an address, and everything, customer's name. So I'm just going to put uh, job ID... And I'm going to pick out my customer's name. I'm just going to call him uh, John Doe. Um, fill out his uh, address and everything else, including his email address. Now that I have my customer's uh, information filled out, I can just save that. So there it is. John Doe 6547. Uh, just tap on it. And now it has saved that reading to that job. Now the next reading I would want to do would probably be my high fire reading. So wait till it gets up to your, your pressure that you want. Uh, required by the manufacturer of the equipment. Create report. And I'm going to call this high fire. There it is. Save to job. Save. So now I got my low fire and my high fire saved in there. And the next instrument that I've got turned on is my DC710 combustion analyzer. Tap on that. And there it is. So I, from here I can, you know, on my analyzer, I'm happening in front of a propane furnace right now, so I'm going to change it to LPG. Um, I can start the pump stop the pump remotely. Uh, as soon as my reading stabilize, I can create a report. So flue gas analysis, let's just set that on there. So again, gives my time, date, and if I have a satellite or a cellular service, it will give me my GPS locations and I can save this to the job. I'm not actually doing live readings right now, just demonstrating the app. Again, one of the other tests I might want to do is uh, temperature, heat rise. So here is the SP341. This is a type K thermocouple. Um, you, know, you can plug in any type K thermocouple. These are the ones that come with it. Uh, magnetic, so you can just stick these in the ductwork. And again, as soon as I turn it on, it is now visible, SP341. So it's measuring my temperature right now at 70.6 degrees. And of course, just tap on the screen, it converts to Celsius, back to Fahrenheit. Um, so I can do a single input measurement or I can go down here and go differential temperature. So I can actually measure the temperature, uh, record it, and then move the thermometer over to the other side and record that temperature and get my Delta T. Or I can use two separate temperature devices and measure them simultaneously and get the same results. So I'm just gonna, I have one right now, so I'm just gonna hold it there, just uh, recorded the reading, and now it goes to the other side. Now it's gonna record the reading again. Of course, they're not gonna be the same right now. Um, and differential, create report. And this could be heat rise. So I'm just gonna call it what it is. Heat rise. And set. So now save that to the job. Okay. Save. So now we got, uh, you know, going on uh, four reports here. Maybe another one might be, uh, you want to know how much air flows in the ductwork. So I want to use my SP565 hot wire. Again, back it up. 565. And uh, there it is, 
again, CFM, or I can go into uh, cubic meters. Again, Fahrenheit, Celsius, adjustable. So right here, I'm just gonna go into this duct here, and I'm just gonna program my duct size. So I'm gonna go, say, uh, 10 inch set, and my height is uh, 20 inches set. And I can do a rectangular return around and supply. So I'm gonna do, this is happens to be the duct that I'm in, is a rectangular, and it's my return air. So I can do a single point. So it gives me my, uh, my speed and calculates my CFM. So I'm just going to go over to uh, feet per minute and CFM Fahrenheit. So I can add that to the log and again, this unit will do multi-point averaging or timed average. So create a report. So this could be labeled as uh, uh, return airflow. Okay. And there it is, gives my CFM. Again, save this to the job that easy. So instead of having all multiple reports, I'm going to go back to, oh, it gives you lots of reminders. So it, uh, every time you finish with one of our smart probes, it gives you a little reminder to make sure you pick it up. Go back to job management, and then it's going to view my open jobs. John Doe. And there it is. The address, the email address. And now I can actually... Uh, View the reports. So I can look at individual reports. So there's a heat rise one and say, okay, that's good. Double check everything, make sure it's all good. Um, I could delete them, I could edit them, or I can just say, hey, everything's good. Sign off on it. So it's just uh, showed all my reports and you know, I want them all. Two, three, four, five. Sign off selected reports. And now it's another reminder here, hey, because I was using my combustion analyzer. Don't forget to replace your uh, your test cap. Okay. Now here is where you could actually have your customer sign for it. So customer name. I'm just gonna put in John Doe and a place for him to sign it. Now, save. So what's gonna happen is his name and signature will come on there and it defaults straight to my email. Okay, so it says, Dear John Doe, Fees and Contracts, uh, attach reports from my recent visit. And it gives it to us in a, I've set it up to a PDF and a CSV file. So you can do one or the other or both. I just wanna do both to show you it. So the first report on here is, uh, there's customer name, there's the, the the contract company name and of course the engineer's uh, information is named Mike uh, signatures on there too so I got my airflow I got my heat rise I got my um, DC 710 combustion analysis I got my uh, my pressure readings so I got low fire and high fire pressure readings but I could also use that manometer for doing you know static pressures or balancing HRV Whatever. And then back down here, of course, I have my uh, CSV files. Send. All done. Now, when I go back, it says view closed jobs. And that information will be in there for, you know, reference later on. So I can keep that, delete it. But, you know, I also have copies that are already emailed. Um, again, add as many jobs as you want to this. Make sure you update your app when required. Otherwise you won't know about the new devices available. 